are Gordon Lightfoot, the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. So let's see what this one's all about. The wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Is that a boat? What is that? Also, we didn't look up who Gordon Lightfoot is, dude. Who are you? He's a Canadian singer and songwriter and guitarist who achieved, achieved international success in folk, folk rock and country music. He is credited with helping to define the define the folk pop sound of the 1960s and 70s. He has been referred to as Canada's greatest songwriter and is known internationally as a folk rock legend. Lightfoot's biographer Nicholas Jennings said his name is synonymous with timeless songs about trains and shipwrecks, rivers and highways, lovers and loneliness. All right. Well, what a background. Okay, so Canada's premier musician. All right, let's... uh check out the wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald. Here we go. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead When the skies of November turn gloomy With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more Than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed When the gales of November came early the ship was the pride of the American side Coming back from some mill in Wisconsin As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound And the wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too Twas the witch of November Stealing The dawn came late And the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November Came slashing When afternoon came It was freezing rain In the face of a hurricane West wind Saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you At 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in He said, fellas, it's been good to know you The captain wired in, he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril and Later that night when his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. I'm sorry for pausing it, but uh, wow, this song is like really sad. But um, I like the little bit of synth we're getting, dude. That is a welcome surprise. Uh, yeah, just reading over these lyrics while we're listening to the song, dude. Tragedy. This is tragic. I, this is like one of my worst <laughs> like nightmares: being trapped on a ship in bad weather. Like, whoa. Uh, what do you have to say about this? Like, I was not even aware this was a thing, dude. Got to leave it up to songs to teach history. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, get back into the song. Let's finish it up, and then we'll look over the lyrics again real quick. We probably, we probably won't read all the way through, but, like, we'll talk about it. All right, let's go. Keep it going about halfway through. The Wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald.
Does anyone know where the love of God goes When the waves turn the minutes to hours The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay If they'd put 15 more miles behind her They might have split up or they might have capsized They may have broke deep and took water all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Huron Roll Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Oh, Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are for sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario Takes in what Lake Erie can send her and The iron boats go as the mariners all know With the gales of November remembered In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. And the legend lives on from the Chippewa down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. Oh, what a beautiful song. I was expecting it to go like about a minute longer, and I would have been perfectly happy. What a tragic story, dude. Uh, do that last line. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. Wow. So the story is they were, they were traveling? What, what was this up, dude? Uh, the good ship was true as bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. <laughs> this ship was a pride of the American side coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters, freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well-seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. So it was just because they were, like, taking some steel? Transporting some steel, dude? Ugh. That sucks, dude. That sucks. It was, it was all just for... It wasn't even, like, that important. Wow. Okay, well... Well, it must have been pretty important, right, for them to go out with that kind of... When did this even take place, dude? Uh, wow, so 29 people died on the ship. Uh, so let's see when this actually took place, dude. All right, have to just look it up on myself. Edmund... It's Gerald Boat. Do, 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 do. Uh, it was an American Great Lakes freighter that sank in Lake Superior during a storm on November 10th, 1975. Gotcha. Thank you so much, Wikipedia. With the loss of the entire crew of 29 men, which launched on June 7th, 1958. Uh, so it was a little bit old, right? So like 17 years old. The boat. She was the largest ship on North America's Great Lakes, and she remains the largest to have sunk there. Why did they build a boat so friggin' big, dude? She was located in deep water November 14, 1975, by U.S. Navy aircraft detecting magnetic anomalies and found soon afterwards to be in two large pieces. Damn, dude. 
Yeah, they carried, uh, for 17 years, the boat carried taconite iron ore from mines near Duluth, Minnesota, to ironworks in Detroit, Michigan. Gotcha. And a bunch of other places. Ooh. Well, tragedy, dude. Tragedy. There's a lot more history that goes into it. Just let me know some of little quips you guys know about this situation. Oh, uh, wow. Also, we learned some native names for things. What was it? Chippewa and uh, Gichigumi. Is that the name? Is that like the native name of Superior? <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, well, thank you so much, uh, TJ, for these couple of Gordon Lightfoot songs. I uh, really appreciate the history lesson. Appreciate the chill vibes. This was a lot of fun. Gordon Lightfoot. Gotta check out more from Gordon. Uh, and also thank you, R2, for those first two Finnish songs. Uh, I would love to hear more Finnish uh, rock from you. So please leave a comment. Please let me know what you thought. Uh, please leave a like. And uh, stay tuned for the last bit of the Patreon requests coming up uh, later on. So uh, tonight, for sure. So, all right, I will talk to you all in uh, the next one. Uh, make sure you give a shout out to the Patreon members. Boom, each and every single one of you. Uh, all right. So I will talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.